Hey, seventh graders. We are gonna move on to figuring out a missing value, an unknown value, when we are given the information that we do have direct variation. So the direction says, if the following ordered pairs represent direct variation, find the missing value. So this means that these two points are gonna create a line that also passes through the point zero. And the way that we can find this is by thinking about, okay, our constant K is found by finding you know, how much change in Y over X. But we also know that we're given this second coordinate, which is also going to have an X and Y value. So if we use a proportion, we can set that equal to the but what's important to remember is that an ordered pair is set up as an x comma y. So it's very important that in order to do this, you know that x comes first and then y for an ordered pair. So like, let's look at number 18 together. If we know that 2 comma negative 4 is a coordinate, that means that this is the x value and this is the y value. So earlier when I said that we're gonna look at a y over x and setting it equal to the other y over x, we would wanna take for this first one, this y value. So we would put negative four and then over our x value, which is positive two. And then we're gonna set that equal to our other coordinate, so remember that this is also an X and a Y, which they're giving us our Y, so we're gonna leave Y up here. And then we're gonna put a negative six in where we would have our X over here. So now we have a proportion that we've seen before and we could easily solve this. So in order to solve this, let's go ahead and cross multiply, which you've definitely seen before. So I'm gonna take negative four times negative six, and that, a negative times a negative, makes a positive 24 and on the other side I'm going to multiply 2 times y which is simply 2y. So I have a very simple equation, a one-step equation of 2y is equal to 24. And since I'm running out of room I'm going to bring this up here. So 2y is equal to 24. This is an equation and we've almost got our variable all by itself but right now it's being multiplied by 2 so in order to get the y isolated all by itself, we have to undo that times two. So in order to do that, we would do the inverse operation and the opposite of multiply by two is to divide by two. Because it's equal, I'm gonna do that on both sides, bringing down my y, and that makes y equal to 24 divided by two, which means that the y value is equal to 12. So we could take that back and we could put that into that coordinate. If that's direct variation, then that y, that that coordinate would be negative six, comma positive twelve. So at this time, I would like you to go on and try eighteen, nineteen, and twenty-one. Or I'm sorry, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. I can't even count. Um, and these will actually be for bonus points um, because they are a little bit trickier. So if you're up for the challenge, go ahead and take it. Good luck.